Hey everybody, Odd Doll here. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I really super appreciate it. So today we're going to take a look at my Monster High collection. Um, this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a little while. It's specifically like my G1 Monster High collection. Um, uh, Monster High is actually what got me into doll collecting as an adult. So uh, these dolls are very near and dear to me. So I really like watching other people's videos of their Monster High dolls, so I figured that I would make one of my own. So we're just going to go um, shelf by shelf. For the most part, I am an out of box collector, that is just my preference. Um, this two pack, I just really love the way they looked in the box. I probably will take them out eventually, but I just love the way that they look on the top shelf. Like there's something about having in box dolls on the top shelf that I thoroughly enjoy. Then I have my Weberella, which I have constantly been tempted to take her out of her box, but I just can't bring myself to do it. Uh, and then the Ghostbusters Frankie, which I just feel like that doll has been slept on, was like slept on way too hard and just doesn't get um, the appreciation that it deserves now. And then of course Voltages. Um, and then up here we have the Magic 8 Ball that was just released. It's Draculaura and it is just adorable. Like such a cool piece of merch that I wouldn't have, you know, expected to happen. And then we have... The name of the set is Escaping Me, um, like Powder Room Jacquelora, which is super cute. I recently got her secondhand on eBay for a really good price, so that was very exciting. And then this is one of my very few G2 Monster High dolls, and I really only have her because I wanted the Monica that she came with, um, because my name is Monica, so obviously I had to have the Monster High doll with my name. Um, most of my collection is secondhand. Um, so for a while I was buying like lots of Monster High dolls, you know, to get like a bunch for a really good price. But since um, more people have grown interested in Monster High, that is becoming uh, less and less viable. Uh, this Draculaura I did get. Um, at Kmart when Kmart was still a thing. Oh, rest in peace, Kmart. Kmart was amazing. Um, they had just had the best exclusive dolls. And then this uh, is another doll from my original collection that I actually bought in the store, probably also Kmart, because I, ca I can't overstate how much I loved Kmart. Um, and Operetta has always been one of my absolute favorite Monster High dolls ever since I started collecting. Just really love um, that she's rockabilly. And then, oh, this collector doll. I can't believe that she's not sold out because she is just, she's just stunning. I did do a video unboxing her, if you haven't seen that yet and are interested. And then of course we've got our operetta in the back and then the diner, Jacquelora. Obviously I had to have the diner set because I really love the 50s, so I couldn't pass it up and I think that I got it for like $25 like a couple years ago. Oops, sorry about that. Mercedes. She is a super cute doll. I love Mercedes. I don't think she gets talked about enough. She came in that um, three pack with LED and Luna Matthews and then EC Dawn Dancer. Just what a doll. <laughs> She's fantastic. And then uh, these are the original Cree Productions, um, except for Abby. This is an original Abby, but in a Boo original Cree Production outfit, because the one that I had was just, um, the fur just wasn't nice and soft and fuzzy and white. Well, it wasn't, like, as white as this, so I switched them out. Then, of course, she's with Heath, because who else? This is my only Rebecca, and... I definitely would like to have more Rebecca's in my collection because the whole steampunk and then like the fact that on the back of her legs she has these gears that 
just like what a clever idea i love it so i'm definitely on the lookout for more rebecca's and then this is my og cleo that i got the same time that i got my abby and she i've slowly um collected pieces uh, that she was missing to um, complete her. I think she's finally complete. Um, I have her purse and stuff. And then, not that I'm like too concerned about purses. Like, if a doll doesn't have her purse, I don't see that it's not complete. Like, as long as like the main doll is there with her accessories, and that counts to me. And the Creepo Deuce. These are the Creepos. I'm so excited to get this Gulia. Um, Rochelle I got really recently and then we have Venus in Operetta of course. I did have to restyle my Operetta's hair. I couldn't get it back to the original style but I got it into a 50s style so I'm happy with that. And then coming down here obviously well we're kind of skipping ahead but we've got Gigi. This is my only Gigi Grant but um I love her. She is like one of the few monster high dolls that has kaneko on hair and obviously that's just excellent um oh lorna mcnessie is adorable i remember how excited i was when i first saw her and i just immediately had to have her and i feel like she's another one that's just underappreciated then we have honey swamp which is one of my very first um monster high dolls and then my ghoulias they're just super fabulous. Gulia is just one of my favorites. I think she makes one of the best dolls. Um, her Dawn of the Dance doll, this hair needs a little bit of sprucing, but this was a gift from my husband, so she's really special to me. And then my Cleos. I love Cleo. I think that she's so, just so beautiful. And um, so for a while, like, I only wanted Cleo dolls. <laughs> and um, this is from the her two-pack, her holiday two-pack with Deuce. Um, but I put her in, in a fear leading outfit because I just think that Cleo in a fear leading outfit is just so good. Um, so yeah, and then we have our, oh, zombie shake, of uh, Venus and Rochelle, which these dolls are stunning. Um, <clears throat> then the ghoul chat Rochelle, the ghoul chat Katrine, my older daughter has, and then <clears throat> this Katrine, who I just think is really beautiful. She had some glue seepage, but for the most part, we solved that problem. Um, and then we have Twyla from Haunted, Vondola, and River Six. I love River Six. I think it would have been really cool to see her with a pixie cut, but I definitely love her pastel vibes. And then Real Drama. And they are just super fabulous, obviously. <laughs> Those are dolls that I didn't, just never would have expected were going to come into existence. And then the Fear Leading 3-pack. I collected these dolls one by one, and I'm um, really happy with them. <laughs> They're some of my favorites. And then, oh, I, I skipped right over Persephone here. She's in a Frankie fashion pack because I stole her Fear Leading uniform. <laughs> and then I have LED. And then my Lagunas, of course. I love Laguna. She needs more appreciation as well. Like, this Laguna is so pretty. It, like, her character in the show when she's being freshwater Laguna is not ideal, but that Laguna is, it, it is gorgeous, though. And then there's Monica. And then down towards the bottom here, I have um, a lot of my G3 dolls because I do collect G3. I just um, feel more passionately about G1. Then up here we have um, my, oh my goodness, it's escaping me, Freak Do Chic <laughs> dolls. So uh, Rochelle back there, we've got Honey Swamp. I'm, I'd really like to get her like little marionette piece, but I, um, I just didn't I need it to be at a lower price. Uh, Goliope back there, the poor deer. She's just kind of floppy back there. <laughs> she needs help. Her hair needs help. She will get it. It just hasn't come yet. And then um, my Torilai. And of course, the uh, San Diego Comic Con uh, Draculaura. My Frankie, which I'd love to get Frankie's hat, but 
you know, that's another expensive one. And then Gina Fire is actually one that I did not have to get secondhand. I already had her. Well, I, I already had um, Rochelle as well. Cause I, when I saw this place, it was just like, like I couldn't see something that was circus themed and not snatch it up. And then here is Twyla. Um, she has her stilts, but she is missing one of her socks. You know, I've had that like saga of getting a Twyla, this Twyla particularly, not this Twyla, but Freak to Chic Twyla. And she was from a smoker, so I got rid of her. Um, it was a whole thing, but I have her now and I'm very, I'm very pleased. I don't mind that she's missing a sock. I have my collectors, which I recently unboxed because I just felt like I could not appreciate them very much in box. Like the boxes for the collectors don't really lend themselves to displaying the dolls super well. So I finally decided to take them out and it was a really good decision. I was worried that I would regret it, but I have not. Um, I was lucky enough to get these dolls shortly after they were released um in second hand but they hadn't been um the price hadn't skyrocketed like it has now they were um actually my husband got these for me he, and he hasn't told me what the price was but i do know that they were under 100 each and then the rest of my collectors I'm super excited for the Creature of the Black Lagoon one that is coming out as well. I thoroughly enjoy that movie, any creature feature. I'm pleased. Then I have some of my G3s and then more G3s. I might have already shown you those. The G3s are just kind of along the bottom. I, I really like them. Like, I thoroughly enjoy them. But um, they're just, like, I want G1 on top. Okay. So these are just some of my absolute favorite dolls. Very special to me. Um, the off-white dolls. I did not anticipate getting whatsoever. I, I wasn't going to get any of them. And then uh, this is actually an early Mother's Day gift. All four of them. Um, my daughter, I guess that she kept telling my husband every night when he would take her up to bed uh talk about mother's day and how she really wanted to get me the off-white dolls um she has no concept of the expense of them but my husband went along with it i'm like oh my gosh you could have just gotten one and when they got here the boxes were so big they weren't sure where they were gonna hide them so they ended up giving them to me early and it was just one i was just in such absolute shock um because they are gorgeous dolls i mean this i want to call this doll frankie i know that's not the name but it's it's frankie um so these are just oh my goodness they're phenomenal so like so much better in person um and then i have my zombie gaga here with the other skeleton babe and then these dolls which when i very first saw them i really thought that they were like someone customizing dolls but no these are ptmi so these were um the mattel indonesia like uh, given to employees on the employees birthdays and they are really really cool and I find them very fascinating as far as I'm aware there's only two of them um monster high wise the glue seepage on her was pretty extreme um so this isn't the hairstyle she's supposed to have but I do intend to put her hairstyle back how it was I think she's on um an ever after a high body but i don't have any ever after high dolls i just know that that's not monster high <laughs> um so she is just stunning and then they had a, a 20th anniversary doll um for the indonesia factory and wow is she gorgeous i love this doll i was so excited when i saw her i couldn't believe that i was um able to get her can see the little 20 on her cheek for the 20th really really pretty makeup um her hair is really adorable the outfit is super cute in this purse like um it's just cool to, to see and like see the you know that these boots were i want to say on a claudine doll yeah and then i i'm pretty sure that this is like howling this gives me howling vibes i'm not a hundred uh percent sure but she just feels like a bit like Halloween to me and I just am obsessed with her. 
I think she's just so fabulous. And of course, Lenore, oh my goodness, um, an Edgar Allan Poe inspired doll. That's always going to be a hit. Just look at how pretty this is. I just can't handle it. It's, <laughs> it's too good. And these wings, oh my gosh, just like, it, it's just art. Like, uh, Monster High dolls are just art. I mean, all, do all dolls are art, you know, but, um, especially. And these dolls recently, my daughter decided that she did not want these anymore. And then, um, she's only five. Well, she'll be six in June, but she asked me, um, if I could sell them for her because she knows that I sell, uh, dolls out of my collection when I need to or the occasion arises and I was like well I will just I will just buy them off of you so now I have those creative monsters I have my haunt couture I recently unboxed them as well because I just wanted to be able to enjoy them better and then moving along just like the collector's dolls I never know if I should call these g1 or g3 um so I feel like either is acceptable and they're just really cute and then Jackie Lauren in the back there and then this is my this is actually a deaf Lucy I did do a video on her I was really shocked I didn't know she was a deaf Lucy until she arrived and I saw the packaging but obviously she's a monster doll so she had to be here then I have another Greta uh, gremlin this one's my daughter's but she is freaked out by the hands so <laughs> I am displaying this Greta until my daughter is a little bit older and not freaked out by the hands anymore. Then there's this Jennifer. She was one of my first dolls. I got her when I was visiting my husband. He was my boyfriend, no wait, fiance at the time. Um, he was in England and she was at a Tesco. I actually got this doll at Tesco, uh, a Skeleta at Tesco, a Venus at Tesco, and then, oh, there was one more as well. Oh, Honey Swamp came from Tesco. Yeah, I don't know if you care, but I, <laughs> I just figured I'll talk about them a bit. This is a head that I found on AliExpress and then just gave some outfit pieces to and put her on a generic body because I love that, they, that the eyes change color. Um, well, more than just color. Like, that's amazing. And then this doll, oh, I'm running out a little bit out of this ah space to display them but um oh no it's it is gone just I fought all the good wrong. fight and i won so here i i've got her out here she is i think that she is just amazing um like look at all the different eyes on her so cool yeah just too good again too good and i have halloween i recently got this halloween i'm so excited um, about her. I think that she looks so stunning like this and it just suits her to a T. And then this Claudine I've wanted for a long time and I found them. Actually, this was my first ever purchase on Poshmark and, um, it was, it was definitely a success. And then I just love Claudine with like primarily purple hair. She just looks stunning. Like purple and green for Claudine. Yes. And then Perry and Pearl, they're kind of squished in there, but like a double headed doll. Yes. Marisol, of course. It's just so good. And of course, she had to be next to Abby, her cousin. Love Abby. And then um, the ghoul spirit dolls I have some of. This is the Venus that I got from Tesco in England, visiting my husband. And then Frankie's. I I really love Frankie. I, I, um, he, I'm always on the look for more Frankie dolls because I feel like I for some reason just don't have like a ton of them not that I need like a ton of anything it's just like um I, there's just a lot of them that I do like um just stunning like this doll is just gorgeous um not not complete but that that's fine by me that is fine by me and um this doll I just got her second hand um not very long ago for a really good price I, I like mainly already had the outfit from just like collecting <laughs> over time and I need to fix uh, the lip chip but mm, that's an easy fix so just haven't gotten around to that yet and then my tutorialize and then a uh, Persephone and Melody and then in the back there I have the one of the G3 um, play sets it went on sale for like $15 and that's like a no-brainer sort of price <laughs> But yeah, that's my um, Monster High collection, and 
very excited to have shared it with you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, and if you're so inclined, you know, consider subscribing for more doll stuff. And um, yeah, then I hope, I don't know if I showed, I kind of like went over, yeah, she ended up on, on the floor and that's a cat toy, but what are you gonna do? I don't know, I've lost my train of thought. I just really appreciate you being here. Um, so I will reiterate that. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.